Sometimes, meeting new people can feel less like a fun activity and more like an overbearing chore. If you saw my previous video on the topic of making friends, you saw how much effort I had to put in to make myself look presentable, drive somewhere that I could potentially meet people, and then actually muster up the courage to say something to them. You really don't realize how hard it is to make friends as an adult until you actually become an adult. Throughout my years in school, the amount of force required on my end to make new friends was significantly less than it is now. I can remember my first ever interaction with the first kid that I met in preschool. I walked up the stairs into the third floor classroom, which is where the new preschoolers went, and nervously went up to the people that I saw in the distance. This one kid named Carson went up to me and he said to me, Hey, I'm Carson. Wanna be best friends? And we became best friends right then and there and continued to be best friends for years. Carson, if you're watching this, video, let's link up. But that just goes to show how a school environment where you're always around the same people every day will basically automatically mend you to certain people and you just effortlessly become friends. So what do you do when all of your friends have either moved away or grew apart due to you guys no longer having similar interests or just no longer being obligated to talk to each other every day in school? Or what if you've always had trouble making friends because it always goes poorly or you just can't be bothered to try harder? You adopt this mindset that I'm going to share with you. So what is this mindset? Well, I feel like the best way to explain it to you and to get it to really stick into your head is to tell you what I've gotten into these past couple weekends here in Austin, Texas, which is where I just moved to. I decided to move here having not known anybody and during a time in my life where I was going through a lot mentally. But I simply just wasn't going to let that stop me. I came here to make friends and experience something new. The weekend after the one that I recorded my first video of trying to make friends here, I decided to go out again. Again, but this time to a completely different environment and venue. So there's this infamous street here in Austin, which is called Sixth Street. You might have actually seen it on YouTube already, because it's where the rowdiest and most degenerate things go down, therefore making it a great place to do interviews. Hey, hey. would you get Donald Trump a f for a million dollars? No, no f him. Okay! And because of that, it's earned the nickname, The Dirty Six. Seeing past interviews on YouTube and hearing about all the things that went down there, I was intrigued. I wanted to see what it was like with my own two eyes. So I parked about half a mile away where things really went down and started to walk my way over there. Several minutes into my walk, my ears were already bombarded with the screams and laughs of college kids, and my nose with the smell of cigs and vapes. It was definitely rowdy, and some of the lines to get into these places stretched around the corner. But Right once I got really into the thick of it and contemplated which bar would be the best for me to try out, there was one bar that stood out to me above the rest. And that bar was an eSports lounge. Being the gamer that I am, even though I don't really have much time to do it anymore, I decided to check this place out. As I showed the bouncer my ID and walked in, I was greeted with a beer pong table to the right and a massive Jenga set to the left. And then I was in gamer heaven. Several different consoles were lined up across from both sides of the bar that was in the middle of the venue. From an NES loaded up with Mario Bros, to Guitar Hero on an Xbox 360, they had pretty much every game and console you could think of. But in the back is where shit got serious. A TV where people could play Smash Bros on a couch, along with an entire LAN setup where people could lock into a competitive game like Apex Legends or CSGO with headphones and all other equipment provided. As I finished off my drink and beat all the high scores on Expert on Guitar Hero 3, which yes, is a hidden talent of mine, I decided to go watch a couple kids play Fortnite. And one of those kids was incredibly skilled. I mean, the dude's hands were moving like this. I was impressed. And what was more fascinating was that he didn't seem like the typical gamer. He was an interesting character with a freshly lined up beard and full suit and dress pants, playing Fortnite at a gamer bar. They ended up coming in, I think like third place, and by this time it was already around 12 o'clock and I was ready to go home and go to bed. I gave him a thumbs up and I was like, GG's guys, that was fun to watch. And the dude in the suit gave me a confused look. And he said to me, wait a second, you look familiar. Are you a YouTuber? I've gotten recognized in public a few times before, but I was not expecting it in a place like this. It just caught me off guard. So I ended up sitting down and talking to him for a few minutes. His name was Clay, and he explained to me how he's watched some of my videos because he's into self-improvement, and he also had his own gaming YouTube channel. The conversation ended up flowing very well, and I was really enjoying hearing him talk about how he got to Austin and what got him into gaming. It went so well, in fact, 
that towards the end of the conversation, he said, look, after this, I'm going to a bar that's just down the street. I'll buy you a drink if you want to come. At this point, after things just going so well and hearing about all the things that we had in common, I had regained my energy. And although that would mean I would be staying out late and having more than one alcoholic beverage in one night, which is something that I don't really do at all anymore, this was the exact type of fun, spontaneous situation I was hoping to get in when I moved here. We waited in this long ass line and he continued telling me about how he grew up near Austin and now lives about an hour outside of the city. And he then told me that he too came to downtown for the same reason as me, just to see what he could get into completely by himself. We went inside the bar, he bought me a drink, and we chilled on the patio outside talking to each other for at least another hour. And during that hour, there was not one point in which the conversation got dull or neither of us had anything to say. When I got back that night and woke up the next morning, I tried to figure out what made that conversation so effortless and continuous. It definitely helped that the dude was good at making conversation himself, but what was it about what he said and asked me and what I said and asked him that allowed this unplanned meeting of minds to be so successful? And after a little bit of thinking, that's when it hit me. The mindset that we were both unintentionally using was what I like to call the reality seeker mindset. If you want to be genuinely excited about meeting new people and having more things to talk about, then let this way of thinking sink deep into your subconscious. The way I describe this mindset is like this. Every person that you meet is like a tiny universe. That universe contains its own set of beliefs, histories, heartbreaks, wins, losses, and interests that you've never had the opportunity to experience. And this person is giving you the opportunity to get a sneak peek into their reality through the language in which we communicate our past, present, and future ideas. This is why I call it the reality seeker mindset, because now I go into each social situation I'm in with the frame of mind that I'm actively trying to seek new realities. This is something that is far more difficult to accomplish within your own head, aka your own universe. Sure, sometimes you're presented with a situation or a stimulus that isn't a person that allows you to expand your reality's worldview, but if you want to exponentially increase the rate at which that happens and make some friends along the way, then socialize with more people. Ask questions to deconstruct what their reality might look like. Ask about where they grew up and how that molded them. Ask about what got them into what they're passionate about. Ask them about their beliefs towards subjects that they seem to be interested in. And I realized both Clay and I were doing this at the bar. He was telling me about his current job and what he actually wanted to do, and I opened up about why I moved to Austin and the struggles I was going through, and it eventually led to us talking about the current state of the world and if things are truly getting worse. It was a very deep conversation. We were peeling back each other's layers to get past the superficial stuff and open each other's realities. The more that you can get them to open up by asking the right questions and opening up your own reality to them, the more the blinds of their reality become transparent. And isn't that an amazing discovery? Instead of this, oh great, I gotta go up to people and talk to them and put in effort if I wanna make friends, it's like, damn, I have the chance to experience a completely different universe from the one I'm currently in. A completely different lens. Now, of course, you may not like some of that lens or agree with some of the beliefs in that lens, but nonetheless, it gives you the opportunity. And I keep saying opportunity because that's really what it is to develop compassion and understanding for why some people behave and act the way that they do. And it keeps you excited and open-minded for every extraordinary experience that starts with a simple hello. Big thank you to all the patrons on this channel who are supporting me on Patreon. If you don't know what that is, it's a platform separate from YouTube where I'm putting out exclusive content you can't find anywhere else. And you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one over the phone on there. If you want to check that out, link in the description. If you missed the first video of me making friends in Austin, check it out right here. Highly recommend. And that is it. Hope this helped. Love you guys. Peace.